We talked about this a lot yesterday, but now Matt Lauer's accuser, Brooke Nevels, is slamming Matt's defense of himself. She calls it, quote, a case study in victim shaming. While Matt denied Nevels accusation that he raped her at the 2014 Sochi Olympics, he said the relationship was consensual. So do you think that Matt defending himself is victim shaming, Erica? Did he cross the line in his defense? I think that at this point he doesn't have any other choice because he has remained quiet for so long and clearly this was the bombshell of the bombshells that's the reason why they waited so long I said before that he was trying to cut through or they were trying to cut through the noise because there was so much me tooing happening at that point that their story would have gone unnoticed yeah. so I think that he felt like he had to say something and I think being in a powerful powerful position in a company and dating an entry-level employee is not an actual crime. It's wrong in some people's eyes, but it's not a crime. The rape is the actual crime, and that's why I would love if the young lady would push forward and go to the police still. And I know the incident happened years ago, but just to have it on document that you feel this man is a sexual predator, put that on file so that he can have that stamped on him and we can have the proper lawyers and uh, officers, people in charge, look into this and give us the answers that we all are looking for. And proper justice, too, because if he did commit this crime, if he he, this is all alleged, but if he, yeah, if he did rape her in such a horrific way, the way that she described it, I don't want to see him do that to somebody else. Uh, but who am I to tell, to tell a victim, uh, allegedly, what she should be doing with that experience? But, I mean, am I being naive when I say that this can all be avoided going forward if we completely cut out any kind of employee fraternization at all. No way. Which may seem, it may, Sam, a lot of trouble in the workplace comes from this. I'm talking about removing alcohol from uh, company events. I'm talking about no dating unless it goes to HR. And if you do make that decision, then maybe one of you guys has to quit. But it, it seems like we've had so many problems up until this point. I'm not saying it's equal on both sides. I'm saying that men have not been able to control themselves in the workplace. There are weird dynamics in terms of power dynamics in the workplace. Could this just be simplified if we just say this is a place of business, your social life belongs on the outside of this place. I don't think banning things work, though. I do think there's a right way to handle it. I've never had to deal with it personally, but I look at our very own Tori Shulman, one of our co-hosts, that's how she met her future husband. So I don't want to see a bad apple, allegedly, like Matt Lauer, spoil it for all the people that do handle it in a very mature fashion. And, and I think, look at Bill and Melinda Gates. They, she was a project manager. Right. And he was the CEO and owner of Microsoft, and they're married now. So when it goes well, it's okay for yes, all of us. But when it goes poorly, get in here. Is, the thing is, in corporate America, these rules already exist. They do. It's not as though like every a corporation is going out and you can get but wasted I mean, she's at suggesting a, work a event. ban, right? Like a total but the thing ban. is, there there is protocol for this yeah. in most corporations. If you are going to date someone, then you have to go do. to HR. And right. if it's a difference in like levels, then it does become something. And we've had situations that we know about that you have sometimes you have to make a decision you can't work there anymore other times it's completely fine as long as there's transparency so this already exists it's when you take it to a, a point where you're in a hotel room allegedly yes. sodomizing someone yeah. right. that it becomes an issue and that's just common sense all right well chime in dbl nation we do want to hear from you